Hi readers, welcome back to my channel. Lee here, and I have been, in my mind, doing pretty good about books and book hauling up until today. And then I ordered two books from Barnes & Noble online to pick up in store, and then I got to the store and I bought four more books. Whoops! Anywho, but here's why that happened. Apple TV has a new program out called Masters of the Air. It's executive produced by Tom Hanks. It's about um, a particular bombing group in Europe in the in World War II. In, next month, I will be taking a continuing ed class on the air war in Europe through um, Arizona State University and the National World War II Museum. So, naturally, I watched the first two episodes of the episodes of the show last night and then this morning I realized that the National World War II Museum has a podcast about the series and making the series it's called Making the Masters of the Air podcast and the first is an episode with Tom Hanks and Don Miller so I started listening to that this morning when I was supposed to be doing chores and I discovered that dun 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 it's based on a book. So, this is one of the books I pre-ordered um, online to pick up in store. Now, I gotta say, the first two episodes of this, very good. Visually stunning. It really kind of gave me um, an idea of how the air war was from a pilot's perspective, which I don't have experience with at all. So, this is going to be a reference book, I am sure, for my upcoming class, and I can't wait to dive into it. Um, put that down. Since I was buying, I've got no place to put my stuff. Before we move on, I want to just say, part of my excess here was not just my addiction to book buying, but also I've had a really kind of rough go of it the last couple days with reading. I tried to read Hatchet Girls. I'll put this in my January recap. It did not work for me. And I'm reading another book that I want to work, but I was able to put it down and not pick it up. So I'm a little bit bummed about that. So naturally, let's buy more books. The next book that I picked out was November 1942, An Intimate History of the Turning Point of, Point of World War II by Peter England. I've not read any of his books before. Um, but this is about, um, I want to say it's about Stalingrad, but I'm not, it's about a whole bunch of people, and so there's a lot of pictures in here. So he says the book, the month marked the turning point of the Second World War. At that point, people still believed the Axis would be, powers would be victorious, but by the end of that month, it had become clear that it was only a matter of time before they would lose. This book doesn't attempt to describe what the war was during those four critical weeks, but will try to say something about how it was. Um, so, this is... Interesting. Look forward to diving into that, too, although it's a thick one. Next up, I got Antony Beaver's The Battle of Arnheim, which covers Operation Market Garden. And um, I really wish I'd had this for my last class about um, war, justice, and liberation. But again, great tool, great reference, great read, I hope. Also by Anthony Beaver, I got D-Day, The Battle of Normandy, because after I finished watching, and this will kind of go into the next book as well, after I finished watching the first two episodes of Masters of the Air, I started to watch Band of Brothers, which I've never watched before. I didn't get into the hype. I think I was deployed, so I never got onto that back then, but I'm watching it, um, so I picked up D-Day, and then I turned around, and on the table there was... Band of Brothers, and I picked up that as well. This is a short read. I'm not sure when I will get to it, but I shall. Um, final 
bit of my Barnes & Noble book haul is James Holland's The Battle of Britain, um, Five Months That Changed the History from May to October of 1940. I'm hoping that this covers some of the air war, particularly between the Brits and the um, Germans, and hopefully I will be able to use this as a reference. I say that because there's a plane on the front. I hope I'll be able to use this as a reference for my class. That's a huge stat of book. Um, now I'm going to go into four other books that I picked up between my last post and now. Two of them are war-related, two of them are not. The first one is Richard Overy's The Air War, 1939 to 1945. Or, I ordered this online. Ooh, it's got terribly small print. But I ordered this online specifically for my um, class. I also... It hasn't come in yet, but I also ordered another one called, by Richard Overy about the Air War um, in nineteen in World War um, World War Two. It's called the Bombing War, and it covers um, nineteen thirty nine to nineteen forty five Europe. Um, so that will come in soon. Again, hopefully it will come in before my class starts. Um, next up, really this is for my Women in War series and I should have my first episode on that on the 31st of this month. I've really got to get down this weekend and start doing my writing on on what I want to say about it. But this is um, this is not what that one's going to be about, but this is for later in the year and that is Christine. A Search for Christine Granville OBE GM Croix de Guerre. I did not pronounce that correctly. Um, she was one of the most successful women agents of World War II and said to have been Churchill's favorite spy. She was murdered at age 37 in a London hotel in 1952. Um, let me just say, I ordered this from a used bookstore and this smells like old book and I love it. I literally, when I got it, I sniffed it like three times because it's just, I can't, I wish I could express how that makes me feel. It's comforting and I love everything about that. So that will go in a place of honor um, so it doesn't get messed up. Next two, not war related. The first is Carolina de Robertus Cantoris, a novel. I heard about this one from Greg. It's supposedly fun. Um, this one. In defiance of the brutal military government that took power in Uruguay, Uruguay in the 1970s and under which homosexuality is a dangerous trans transgression, five women miraculously find one another and together an isolated cape that they claim as their own. Over the next 35 years, they travel back and forth from this secret sanctuary, sometimes together, sometimes in pairs, with lovers in tow or alone. Throughout it all, they will be tested repeatedly by their families, lovers, society, and one another as they fight to live authentic lives. So, um, again, I usually take Greg's recommendations. We have similar reading um, taste, although he stretches me a little bit. Finally, another recommendation, this one from Mother Horror, aka Sadie Hartman, and this is a collection that I'm going to start sometime soon. I'm having trouble with short story collections, but I'm going to give this one a shot. It is called Doll, The Doll Collection, and I'm reading it to creep my sister out about dolls. Anywho, that is all I have for today. I... We'll be back with my next week with my January reading wrap up and my first episode of the Women in War series. Happy reading!